Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're going to look at Notability. So last time I've shown you a video about GoodNotes presentation mode and today we're going to look at Notability presentation mode. Okay, as you can see here, I'm on my Notability app. Okay. So I've created a new note, which is, there we go, I've got a new note here. Now, um, the way Notability presentation mode works is that you need to activate it by connecting to a screen and an external display, right? It could be either via AirPlay, which is screen mirroring, or you can do so via HDMI cable using an adapter, okay? Okay, so in this case, I'm going to connect via AirPlay using screen mirroring. So let's scroll down here. I'm going to screen mirroring. I'm going to select my Mac. Now it's mirroring right now to my Mac. And if you can see, it turns like this. Okay, it comes a little bit dark mode immediately if you're not already on dark mode. And if you can, if you notice, there's a blue bots around your notes whatever blue bots around your notes that is what your audience will see right whatever you're doing so if i scroll like this zoom out that's what they will be seeing if i scroll down that is exactly what they will be seeing okay i can write down things hello okay don't forget to subscribe Okay, now that is what it is. I can zoom in and I can zoom out. Whatever within this box, that is exactly what they're going to see. This mode is what we call the presentation mode. If you can see here, there's an icon, like a monitor icon. And I can select on that. You can see here, I can mirror right now at the moment as a presentation or as a screen. Okay, at the moment we're in a presentation mode, so that is why it created this blue box around your notes. If I select screen, now it will be as normal. It will be normal screen mirroring, okay? All the toolbars at the top, you know, your dates, your back, whatever, all will be, all will be seen by the audience, right? And also the aspect ratio will change. Okay, if your screen is 16 by 9 or 16 by 10, right, it will be cropped up to the uh, iPad's monitor aspect ratio or size, for example. Okay, next is multitasking. And when you are in screen mirroring mode, okay, as you can see here right now, I'm in screen mirroring mode. That means whatever on the screen, whatever I'm seeing, the audience will see as well. Okay, so for example, let me do multitasking. You know, slide over, right? The audience will see my calculator. This is the end cal calculator, by the way. Check out the link below for the best calculator for your iPad. Now, if I go to Google, the audience will see exactly what I'm seeing right now. Okay, I can look stuff, I can do whatever. Okay, I can also do more multitasking. Okay, whatever I can do split view, split screen, whatever. Okay, however, if I change this to presentation mode okay now you notice there's a blue box around it that means whatever within this bond boundary is what going to be presented to the screen it's also changed the ratio to 16 by 9 okay now if i do multitasking let's say a slide over with my with my you know, safari google and look something up this won't be seen by the audience okay i can look for information that i don't know on google and the audience will not see that I'm doing that, okay? If I use my calculator, the audience will not see this at all, okay? And then if I access another note within this app, okay, the way to do it, you slide over from your left, and then there's your recent notes, you can look it up, for example, or in this case, I'm just going to pick a random note, let's say this one, you tap and drag, you can put it on the left-hand side, on the right hand side, let's say I'm going to put it on the left hand side. Oh, sorry, right hand side. Now, there's my notes. 
and you can see here this is the side where it is presenting. I can have my presentation notes here for example and now I can annotate here okay let me change my okay hello okay and I can tap on here I can write on here okay there we go but only whatever on this side where it says presenting is seen by the audience okay that is what's cool about it I can resize it as per usual it is really really good when you're presenting uh, you know a conference or you using it in a classroom you have you can have your notes of answers and should they're working out with your students okay now at the moment i have a split view of the notability app okay i've got my notes that i'm presenting right now on the screen and then i have my own notes on the side as well now the next feature that i'm going to show you is a laser pointer Right, if you look at the top here, next to the finger icon, there's another tool pop up only when you connect it to an external display. It won't show up if you're not connected to the external display, the same as this icon. So if I tap that tool, it will show me a choice of colors. This will be the laser pointer. I have a red, blue, green, and yellow okay now i'm going to show you example green okay there you go i can circle things and it should disappear okay i can underline things and it disappear okay i can circle things it should disappear it's really good when you're doing uh, problem solving and you want to point uh, parts of your notes to this in, in front of the students then you can just immediately use the laser pointer Okay. They also have this option where you can see here, hold laser tail. That means your pointing, whatever you're pointing, the drawing that you use the laser pointer, it will stay on the screen for a few seconds. Okay. Let me compare if I turn it off. Let's say I turn it off. Okay. I select green again. You can see. It's just, it only show up when I'm writing on it. Or when I'm drawing on it. If I lift my pencil, it disappears. If I select the whole laser tail, there we go. Brilliant. Okay, I can change the colors red, I can do blue, I can do yellow. Okay, if I zoom out. There we go. Okay, now that is the laser pointer tool on the new Notability app and also the presentation mode on the new Notability app, which is a great feature, which you have seen is already on GoodNotes 5 app. And now they bring, now the Notability bring it as well. And then I might make a video to compare between how, which one is the best between the two. Uh, it's really, and this both app, you know, with this feature is really good. Not only you can use your app, the app, both apps in the classroom as a visualizer. However, at this moment of time, when we're teaching online remotely, you can use your iPad as, you know, as notes where you can link it up to your computer and you can share your monitor window online to your students in online lessons as well. So it's really, really good tool, not only in the classroom, however, remotely teaching your students. All right, I hope this video has been useful. Um, give it a like. If you find this useful, leave a comments, any comments, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Don't forget to check out my other videos as well. All right, goodbye.